table. Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Mm -hmm. I don't think I was in the frame when I did that silly burp. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace. And I'm from Western New York. You may have just heard a burp. Yeah, I think you might have just heard it. Did you know that we have to burp in order to release gas? And we do that at least 11 to 13 times a day. It could be either through your mouth or for your, through your bottom. Hopefully it's the mouth. Hopefully it's the mouth, yeah. yeah. But it's not very ladylike to burp, and it's not very nice to burp, and it's not. It's even worse if you, if you do the other. And then there was a little saying that um, when you burp, it's better to grin and bear it. Wait a minute, no. Better to let it. How's it go? But, uh, how's the, wait a minute. Better let. Better to grin. No, let it out. Let it. Bear the pain. Let's see if you. I forgot how. It goes. Bear the shame, then bear the pain. No, but that's that's um. Uh, there's another one though, uh, about grin and bear it. It's better to. Let's see. It's better to grin and bear the pain. The, no, the shame. No, there, it's a rhyme. It's a little rhyme. It's a little ditty thing. <laughs> I can't remember how it goes. I'm not well prepared for this, I guess. Well, I let Mr. Brown outside for a while, and I brought her her nesting box and everything out there, and she was in it for a bit, but she waited till I brought her back in. Well, she walked back in. She wanted back in, and that's when she laid her eggs. So today I got 16, 16. eggs. I had 15, and then I, and she laid one. So that made 16 eggs today. I've got really happy hens. And Emma, she will come out of the chicken jail tomorrow. I'll let her out. Every time Pretty Boy crows, she makes a lot of clucking noises like, Don't forget me, don't forget me, I'm in here, don't remember, don't forget me. And so what I do is I open the little door. She waits till I put it in the dish. She could actually run out. Some of the other hens would run out. But she doesn't. She just kind of lets me put it in there. So maybe she's ready to come out of chicken jail. I will give it a try tomorrow. She's got one more night in chicken jail. Poor thing. I took the ice out of her water container because she has her own water container. And so I took the ice out because this morning it was a little chilly, but now it's gotten pretty nice. In fact, let's put that little video in of my me outside. As you can see, Jim's outside working. The neighbors over there doing some cleanup too. Hmm. Hello, I come to check on you. Wow, my that is my fig tree, but boy, it's too bad it dies down. It didn't die all the way down this year, did it? Huh? Did it die all the way down this year, I wonder? No. No, that's that good. Is all green wood. Wow, that's great. Maybe I'll get some figs this year. I've never gotten figs on it. That would be nice. He's doing some cleaning over there too. Is that Robin or is that somebody else? I don't know. Robin or Oh, I think it's Robin. There's his wife. I see the wife. That looks like their car. Ooh, you can smell the gas from the. From, oh, it's from your thing. Whew. Stink a Rooney. Yeah. And these are my artichokes that they went to seed. I'm going to leave them. Yeah, let them be. They'll just do whatever they want to do. And wow, you cleaned out around the asparagus. The asparagus really good. Yeah. Now when they start coming up, we'll be able to seed we'll them instead of the weeds. And wire is here is because the asparagus would lay down and look really messy and this kind of keeps it nice. Yep. My shadow was in that little bit of a video. I don't like it when my shadow
shadows in the video. Although I do like the sunshine. That trailer is coming really handy. He Very built nice. this trailer out of McDonald's wood. McDonald's <laughs> wood and an old, an old, old, old trailer. Trailer that you cut down yeah. and rebuilt it. When we first got married. Yeah, that's an old one. Extremely old. Well, it's pretty noisy here with the tractor running and his blowing over there. He's blowing the driveway. Must be with the air, with the, it looks like a blower. Yeah, I don't know if they're doing the drive. I think they're doing the pine, pine needles over off there. Off the driveway? That's much off the driveway, but off the lawn. Mm, could be. I don't know. Well, I'm going to go back in. Okay. You'll be part of my video, probably. It's pretty noisy over there with that tractor running. But he's cleaning up the little bit of there. That's where the garden used to be near that area when we when we had the big garden. I can't even think when I'm walking. It's pretty sad. But the sunshine is really, really bright today. It's a beautiful day. Today's the first day of spring. Yes. And I'm outside. I was out in the chicken area with the chickens, and when I went to go into the house, Mr. Brown comes running really fast and he hops into the house. He wanted in. I brought his little nesting box outside so that hopefully he'll lay his egg, her egg, in that not. Oh, there she is. What are you doing, little girl? What? You can hear her, maybe? What's going on? What? What you want? Huh? I'll get on this side so that my shadow's not in it. Okay, we're gonna show. There's Mr. Brown. Where are you going, baby? Huh? Where are you going? When I was in with the chickens, she sat on me. Hey, don't push that button. It'll turn off. Boy, this is really steaming up. The windows it means it's warm inside there. Did you lay an egg yet? No, nope, no egg. I brought her nesting area out. This is what she. Can you can you go in there? If you have to lay an egg, you have to go. You have to go in there. Yeah, that's your. That's the grass. This is showing a little bit of green. What are you pecking at me for? Look, look what she does. What are you doing? You're not even pecking, you're just rubbing. You're rubbing. The grass is starting to get a little bit greener. Hello there, everybody. We'll come down here and I'll go the other direction. Oh, sure. Here comes Mr. Brown. Are you following me? Come on, let's go for a little walk. You're still coming. He says, I will follow wherever you go. If you follow me, follow me where I go, what I do and who I know. Yep. Hi, Jake. Somebody said they never see you here outside right now. I thought I disappeared. Where are you going there, Mr. Brown? You think you're going to go in that door, probably. Where are you heading? He says, I'm going in. I open the door and you'll go in, I'm sure. In you go. It's the first day of spring. I think I say that in the video, too. It is. It's the first day of spring, and it's actually very nice out. Tomorrow's supposed to be even nicer than um, today, so let's hope it is. I'm still trying to think of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that um, little saying, I can't think of it. I'll think of it after I'm all done with the video, probably. I think it's better to grin and bear the shame than, than to, to grin and, grin bear, and, the, bear, and bear, bear the pain. Yeah, it could be. 
Better to grin and bear the shame than to grin and bear the pain. That's it, yes. And it's like the musical fruit was the other one. The better, the um, beans, beans are the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. <laughs> Toot's the polite word. And the more you toot, the better you'll feel. So eat your beans at every meal. Or <laughs> if you want to use the worst word, you would, it rhymes with heart. Beans, beans are, the, are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you, and the more you, the better you feel. So eat your beans at every meal. So you can do them both ways. <laughs> yep. That's, that's, I guess, the story today. Yesterday, I um, kind of hesitated as I was, just before I said goodbye, and um, Gloria thought I had forgotten what I was going to say. No, I was just trying to figure out how I was going to say goodbye without saying, well, that's my video for today, <laughs> is what I was trying to figure out. But I have no other, I have no other saying. So I'm just going to say, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>